In this contribution, we present a novel approach for simulating wildfires, realistically capturing the combustion process of individual trees and the resulting propagation of fires at the scale of forests. Detailed branch geometry is used, which allows us to realistically capture the three-dimensional fire spread. This cannot be easily covered with other representations or statistical models. For example, when a tree underneath another tree is burning, fire can spread vertically as illustrated here. We demonstrate the effect of fire spread in a forest using a constant horizontal wind field. We vary the slope of the ground terrain. As expected, for a positive slope, the fire spreads faster compared to a flat terrain or a negative slope. In this scene, we simulate a wildfire within an ecosystem containing conifers and deciduous trees. We observe that the deciduous trees are more fire resistant. One cause of this is their higher density. Here, we illustrate the impact of wildfires in different ecosystems varying with respect to their forest cover. To evaluate wildfire management, our model allows to interactively extinguish fire by manually distributing fire retardant. As preventatively done in wildfire management, we cut cohorts of trees resulting in empty fire barrier zones of different width. Their influence on the fire spread is shown here. Here we illustrate the effect of wind on the fire spread. We simulate a complex wildfire originating from a randomly positioned fire source which could be caused by a lightning strike. The fire spreads within the valley around Half Dome in California's Yosemite National Park. The simulation runs at interactive rates. Finally, we show a flammogenitus cloud emerging from the wildfire. It produces rainfall partially extinguishing the fire. Here, a more complex flammogenitus cloud is shown. While dark smoke is present at lower altitudes, the condensation of water at higher altitudes results in a white cumulus-type cloud. Thank you for your interest in our work and watching this video. The corresponding publication and supplemental material, as well as more information about the authors and our research, can be found on the project website.